top five out of nowhere Super Bowl MVPs. These are the guys, like I went through the whole list and I eliminated quarterbacks because you often assume that the quarterback, so like even though Doug Williams was kind of out of nowhere, like as far as yeah, the MVP of that game, I, he had a great season, but I don't think anybody thought going into the game they were going to win because of Doug Williams, you know, particularly. You know, like you didn't what? They didn't think anybody was going to win because Doug was going to have this unbelievable game. Oh, not it was the game be, he had. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, it was yeah. going to be it was going to be somebody else that that well, was Schrader. Yeah, Schrader, exactly. Yeah. So um, he was out of nowhere, but he still was the quarterback in the game. So you kind of put him out there. So, uh, but these are at number five. You will know this is old school, Smokey. Old school, but he was. I, I know who it is. It's Jake Scott. Yep. Safety for the Dolphins. Safety for the Dolphins. Two fumble recoveries, uh, 47 punt return yards, uh, like 28 kick return yards. 14-7 like to seven win against Washington. Yeah, a huge thing. And he wound up playing for Washington yep. after that. But Jake Scott, people may not – I mean, I would say in the annals of Super Bowl MVP history, he is probably the most forgotten one. Yeah, he, he – he, yeah, there may be one or two others, but I, I do know that he was a hell of a player. Yeah. But that was a team with Zonka and Kick and yeah. all those guys. And, yeah, that's who you would have thought would have been. And, uh, Greasy. Uh, and, Bonacani. Yeah. Uh, Mercury Morris, who was not a starter, but kind of a glitz and glamour at running back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Number four, Malcolm Smith. Yeah, that's, that's still one that I bet most people, if you said name the fo- five most random MVPs, it would still be one that – I think people would struggle with. Yeah, Malcolm Smith horse had an interception on uh, Pete Carroll's worst play call in the history of his career. <laughs> I I saw a documentary on that play. Mm-hmm. Like, there's not a 30 minute deal, but on that play that Belichick, I don't know what it was. He saw something on a practice video, like practice film. I, I don't. I'm not wow. sure if he's supposed to have it, but that he saw what New England. Or he saw what. Um, what Seattle had been running on the goal line, and there's kind of a semi-pick play that was being run, and they practiced getting Malcolm inside. It, it's a great, it, it's it's like that's why Belichick won. It was the, the, the it was not illegal practice, but Belichick and the team ran that play over and over and over again in case they needed it, and they did, and he picked it off. Yeah, absolutely. Number three, known much more for his college exploits and his TV career, Desmond Howard. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, uh, kick returner. Yeah, he I was wasn't at that even... game is uh, against uh, the Packers. Oh, against the uh, New England. Yeah, uh, I think it might have been down in New Orleans. I'm not sure if it was New Orleans or Atlanta, one of the two. But yeah, had a big moment. Drafted by Washington, another Washington f- not failure because he turned out to be good enough to win it. Uh, but but one that but I thought was... I thought he in that was that North Turner. Who was it that was the coach? Was it it was Gibbs? I don't think it was Gibbs. It would have yeah. been. But when he got remember. when he was drafted by Washington, you're like, oh, he's going to have all these toys, yeah. and it didn't work out. No, it didn't. So that uh, that's very interesting that, uh, that that that's how that went down. So, uh, um, but the, he didn't make it there because again, they were good when they drafted Desmond. Howard. No, I think yeah, they I, thought, I thought it was going to be a good match but, based on who what they were doing at the time. But yeah. he he wound up kind of just being a, a kick returner, kind of a Mel Gray type, uh, and. And then and then became the MVP. He was like the fifth wide receiver on that. On it that wasn't like he had a great Packers. NFL career. No, but, but he had that one good, night yeah. in in he the Super good, Bowl. He was a good NFL player, and he was a serviceable. I mean, he was a great kicker turner. Number two, Dexter Jackson. Yep, Tampa Bay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was a, couple couple of, it was a West game. Coast game against the Raiders and yeah. Gannon. Yeah, yeah, Rich and, Gannon. Yeah, and uh, he had those interceptions. Of course, that was all like. Um, Barrett Robbins was down in in Tijuana the night before and didn't play. Like yep. all the weird stuff that went on with that game. Uh, that, that a lot of people think that that's something like that's going to happen here. Uh, it's a little bit of a different time in the NFL, but um, and plus they're staying way way out of town. Um, Desmond Howard was drafted the year after wa- the the year at the, like just after Washington won Super Bowl twenty six. Yeah, so they were good. And it was I mean, really good. It would have been Gibbs, I think. Yeah. yeah, they were so really good. It didn't work out. And number one. A guy we were just talking about, Larry Brown, who was, by and large, the most. I mean, we talk about Pup not getting the, the credit he deserves, but um, Larry Brown was the most unsung member of the secondary, especially that year when you have Woodson and Marion and Dion and Kevin Smith and like those guys that were on that and team. And Thomas Everett may have been gone by. He that was gone year. by then. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he, he, was, was uh, he was gone by then. He was yeah. gone by then. And but, he was a hell of a player. Yeah. yeah, but he was gone by then. But so Larry, Larry Brown was. 
I mean, he was just kind of the the last guy you think of. And most of the time when Cowboys, like I remember, of course, being a Cowboys fan, whenever a, a kind of a big play was made, it was usually made over towards Larry Brown because Deion and Pup were... Well, they were throwing the opposite direction, yeah, so, so he had opportunities. And, yeah. of course, Neil O'Donnell with a couple of, like, gift-wrapped interceptions. But yeah. you still have to be where you're supposed to be, and he was. Yeah, absolutely. So Deion caught a long pass in that game down the middle. I was in the, my, the seats that I had in, in, uh, at Sun Devil Stadium. Yeah. Yeah, Larry Brown. So Larry yep. Brown, the most random one and the one, uh, you, you know. You know, is that it? That's, That's it. Okay. Would be a good of the five who were unknown that were blocked out of becoming an MVP because of other, like, for example, Timmy Smith, the running back, the year yeah. that Doug Williams went off, right? Yeah. And he had almost 200 yards rushing out of, went to yeah. Texas Tech, and he didn't do much after that. He was gone. He was done. Or yeah. The, yeah, or, or ones that just flamed out. Those are five. Those are well, five well, hard know, ones you, to get to. You know who's one that probably should have been the 